So we've been talking about this new charity, Quinn, that's uh, starting up in the Isle of Man. We're back inside now, the, the property that we've been using. And uh, with, us, with the gentleman very much involved, your, your position is, how do you describe it? Uh, so I'm, I'm sort of the founder, and I'm the CEO, and I'm also the head receptionist. <laughs> you know, keep you busy. <laughs> yeah. Why the need for this? Uh, I suppose, in a way, uh, the Isle of Man, there's, there's a hole in provision, really. You have the very medical model, uh, but then there's the social model, which is about community is about building what we call recovery capital uh, as a therapist it's about finding people's strengths and building on them instead of just concentrating on the problems you got first-hand knowledge of dealing with this sort of issue i understand yeah uh, so my, my background uh mental health i was sectioned for a number of years i've been to prison uh i'm a reformed addict right so how many people are there out there that this charity can reach then i suppose you know at the moment we're we're, we've been out working for about a year doing stuff so we're doing some free therapy we've done a bit of community building a bit of peer mentor training uh, and we've touched the lives of maybe 50 people without even trying is it a, a, one of those problems that's almost pushed under you know the radar yeah it's it's it's, it's not it's not it's not sexy is it no it's, it's that you know it's stigmatized if you have a mental health problem or you have an addiction problem or you've been criminalized for extreme behaviors you know people don't want to know but often you don't see the trauma behind. You don't see adverse childhood experiences. You don't see the, you know, unhappy, unhappy marriages. It's, yeah. it's that, you know, you just see the behaviour. You don't see the hurt behind. And is Ireland life worse for that, do you think? Because everyone knows everybody else and the pressures are harder here? I think, I, I think the Ireland's quite a unique place. I'm Manx born and bred, yeah. uh, but I've also worked in London. Uh, and it's, it, there's, there's a difference. And sometimes things are more pronounced here but hidden does that make sense yeah. they're there but people don't want to see them right so the reason we're doing this is to get the word out there that you're ready for business sort yeah. of thing yeah and and what will you be doing here exactly? so so the the plan is is you know I, I, we're already working with people and it's a project to help people build up self-esteem get skills and start that journey back you know reintegrating back into society mm -hmm. you know by you know giving them a place to learn new skills or refresh old skills but also for people who've been there to come back and support people who are already there so we're very interested in starting peer mentoring uh, and we are running our first peer mentoring course at the end of February mm -hmm. so I've got some friends coming over from the UK uh, who specialize in this type of work and we're gonna people who've been there done it turn their lives around like myself there is there is people we're gonna give them the skills to help other people and, and part of the effort will be into restoring this building yeah, I believe yeah uh, so it, it'll be a place where people in the community can, can come and use for their needs mm -hmm. and long term are the goals set out to, to when you say is it rehabilitation or is it just it's, no it's, it's so no. We, we describe it as happens for four parts uh, so the first part is recovery so that's stopping the behavior yeah uh, this next part is what we call rehabilitation which is about changing people's sense of selves their, well how they see themselves uh, the third part is about reintegrating back into society, so your secure accommodation and economically active, whatever that happens to be to you. Okay, and, and obviously the message is to not let people fall through any safety nets. I mean, there are safety yeah, nets there yeah, because yeah. Your, your journey was much more difficult, hence you're doing this, I'm guessing. Yeah, it, I suppose I'm driven because I know how bad it gets, yeah. you know. Uh, and people do fall through the net, you know. They're the people I've specialised in working in since I trained to become a, a psychotherapist. Uh, people do. It's about reaching out to them and meeting with them where they are, not where you would like them to be. Okay, people want more information, we're putting it on the screen there. You can get in touch there and uh, find out how you can. And it's going to be fantastic to follow yeah. this through as well. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll be back here. This building's great. Yeah, it's, it's really? awesome. Uh, yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's just ideal for us. As I say, stay tuned. On this, we'll have more.